When you over whooper, Aunt Gliss, get say tease in this motherfucker. Yeah, she hell. Yeah, let me get a drink so I can pass my motherfucker third while I bust that red nigga's ass. <laughs> tequila, 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 my motherfucker. I love hospitality. I'm a real nigga. <laughs> red Glizzy would have never did this. I love the hospitality of a real nigga. Y'all ready? Come on, man. Get them, man. Get, get them, man. Listen, man. Tell them I said get them views up, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, and I want to give a salute to DF and the Wellington Park crew. You got my messy bestie in the comments. You got my messy bestie in with my motherfucker with Baby Wolf at in. Shout out to Baby Wolf. Shout out to Big Wolf. Shout out Purple P. Shout out Mayo with the yeah yo. You know what I'm saying? All my DFs, all my motherfucking Wellington crew and family. Let y'all, let y'all free the motherfucking members. Free the members, free the game. What my motherfucking man Q Ball used to say? Q Ball say, what he say? He say, uh, I keep it on. Whether it's day or night. Y'all know the rest. Y'all know what it is. You know, I, I keep that paperwork on me, Red Glisten, whether it's day or night, and whether I got a gun or night, it's on my left or my right, I keep it on me, Red Glisten. <laughs> it hit different when you over whooping. My baby mother fucked you around last night, Red Glisten. You ain't like that too much, did you? You can't talk that talk. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. And I knew she was going to tear your ass up. And I call myself a clever motherfucker. But Red Glizzy, I ain't gonna lie to you. Use a clever sidestepping, use a clever conniving Mickey Mouse motherfucker, you. Use a clever conniving Mickey Mouse. And I, I, I respect the way you try to pivot and sidestep and make all these motherfucking false narratives up and it don't ring, when it's, it rings, it stop. Oh, nah, nah, I don't worry, I'm gonna hit that, don't you worry. Hey, when, 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 when you make all these false narratives, you know, when you... Yeah, it's about what you want. What you, you want to trade like that? Yeah, there we go. It, bro. There we go. When you make all these false narratives, Red Glizzy, and you pivot and you try to sidestep, because they say even a wreck would chew his own foot off to get himself out of a trap, Red Glizzy. Uh-oh, who can this be? Even the motherfucker ready to chew his own foot off to get out of a trap. Yeah. No, I ain't. You ain't gonna speak. Yeah, I got all that. I got all that. I got all that for Rack Lizard. Yeah, because he was over whooping. Me and Buster Move right here about to bust his ass. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Red Glizzy. Man, I got three, I got three phones, Red Glizzy. I got three phones, and these three phones been ringing all day about you. About you making sure this shit get narrated the right way. And see, that's the whole key to the hand. It gotta be narrated correctly. It gotta be, it gotta be discussed correctly. Man, matter of fact, before Buster Moves start asking, asking what he gonna ask, right? And we start with this interview the right way. I'ma say this, right? I'm going to give y'all the story of Rat Glizzy. This is the God honest truth by Allah. Allah take the breath out of my body and my kids. He said on this, he said on uh, 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 Aunt Glizzy, GQ, YouTube, whatever. First thing he said, right? He said he wasn't able to go to see his friend GQ in the hospital because, hold on, fuck all that, right? He said this paperwork was fake. Aunt Glizzy, Red Glizzy said that this shit was fake. Then when he realized I saw a show on, see, I gave, I gave, see, I, I, I gave out little testers. Because I wanted to see who's going to stay real, who's going to stay loyal to a motherfucker that slanders and talks bad about him. I wanted to see. I said, I want to see how many of these niggas that claim they don't respect a motherfucker that slander and backbite people. How many of them gonna stay real and how many of them gonna sit there and try to use the information I gave them to try to buy a friend out of Red Glizzy? 
and they showed me. They showed me their true colors. Mm. Guess what? Guess what? I don't like hat sauce. I don't like hat niggas. I don't like hat dogs. I don't, I don't like hot summer days, right? Because guess what? Oh, let's see hot, right? And, and, and Red Glizzy, you is smoking, nigga, right? But here it is, right? I'm going to give y'all the story. He said the shit wasn't true. Then he turned around when I got to show him the motherfucking documentation, right? He said, oh, I can explain it. Now he running around all these different platforms, right? Trying to explain why the fuck him and GQ name is in this motherfucking paperwork. I told this bitch ass to leave me alone. I even went to his brothers and all of them and say, man, please tell me leave me alone. I'm sorry. I had no business in that world. I had no business in that motherfucking uh, 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 platform, platform At shit, right? Yeah. Because I'm a real street nigga. I'm a street, I'm in the field, right? So me stepping into that, really, I was trying to defend people that I ain't had no business trying to defend. I should have mind my motherfucking business. But me trying to be loyal to what I, what the cause that I thought was real, right? The cause that I thought was real, right? I mean, repeat that. I wind up getting caught up in some bullshit. I got caught up in some bullshit. Staying real and staying true. Loyal to a false sight. That's what y'all need to call it. So when I stayed loyal and true to some real, to shit I thought was real, that's what I wind up getting. I wind up getting this motherfucking wreck biting me in my motherfucking foot. Now he don't care. So guess what? I say, see, this motherfucking wreck wanna bite me in my foot? Let me find out how I could try to back my way out of it because I ain't had no business in it. And as a man, I was wrong. As a man, I was wrong, right? This suck ass nigga took me bowing out as a weakness. You took me bowing out as a weakness. You stupid little rat, you. You the bitch your motherfucking foot off getting out that trap and you sat there didn't realize who I really was and you tried to use my escape goat you, man, you know what I learned a long time ago? They say when a man tries to jump out the window, you allow him. You don't back him into no corner. Now you back me into a corner, I'm gonna show you who I am. Number one, you talked about my baby mother. My baby mother, little brother, is the one that exposed you and GQ. If it wasn't for my baby mother, little brother, you and GQ would have still been running around here waiting to testify on somebody. Somebody would have broke the law around one of you hot niggas, man. And you niggas would have sat there and you niggas would have motherfucking took them niggas down because of what you knew, right? Now let's go to the story of Rat Glitz and the Mickey Mouse Club, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start off Hold with this. Hey, Jordan. You don't know a nigga that's gonna come down here playing the game. Shut your bluffing ass up, little ass. Man, fuck Rick Glizzy. Look, hey, listen, we ain't talking to Rick Glizzy. Hey, Rick Glizzy, fuck you, you hot nigga. We don't talk to Rex, nigga. We, nigga, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. 